Gaming this holiday season is going to be a big thing. A lot of people are going to be clamoring for a lot of titles. But which ones do you pick? I mean, $60, $40, $50 titles. It's a lot of money to spend. So we had Scott go upstairs and ask Shane Bettenhausen what he thought the best titles this holiday season were. Hey, it's Scott, and we're here at the office of the 1UP Network. We're going to talk to Shane Bettenhausen, executive editor for Electronic Gaming Monthly, and he's going to give you the must-haves for this holiday season. Shane, thanks for joining us. Let's jump right in with the handheld. Start with the PSP. What do you got for us? This is the best PSP game this year. It's Castlevania Dracula X Chronicles. And what it does is it combines two games, one game that never came out in America, Rondo of Blood. It's a classic game for the PC engine. never heard of it, but it's cool. It's been remade in full 3D with Symphony of the Night, the PS1 Castlevania, which is like everyone's favorite Castlevania ever. And it's only 29 bucks to steal. If you own a PSP, you should definitely buy this game. So. Outstanding. Let's move on to the, uh, the DS. What do you have for us there? DS, uh, you can't go wrong with Zelda. There's a new Zelda called Phantom Hourglass. It's kind of a re, re, uh, revisiting the Wind Waker style, which was the GameCube game. It's all cartoony. Mm-hmm. So it's a direct sequel to that with the cartoony graphics and they totally redid the gameplay. It uses just the stylus. So you, you, know, you move Link with the stylus, you attack enemies with the stylus. So it's a little easier, a little more uh, you know, family friendly. Your mom could play it, your little sister could play it, but it still has all the great Zelda like, you know, combat and puzzles and story you expect. So it's, it's a kind of a rebirth for the franchise. Well, this is the best game on the Wii ever. Maybe the best game of the year for all consoles. It's Super Mario Galaxy. And, you know, we can't go wrong with Mario. Ever since Mario 64 on N64, it's kind of, you know, the best platforming game. And with this one, they've gone back and reimagined everything. You know, you're on these little planets. You're Well, re- reimagined how? Well, so Mario's in outer, outer space. So you're dealing with, like, gravity's constantly changing. You're on the ceiling. You're, you're jumping on these little planetoids. There's tons of new power-ups. It's just every level is a new kind of gameplay. Tons of variety. There's a new two-player mode where a friend can help you play assist you through the levels. It uses the Wii mode and nunchuck, but not not over much, not not too much. You know, it does, it's not gimmicky. It uses mm-hmm. it in creative ways, and there's just so much game here. Okay, let's move now to the PS3. Well, you know, PS3 is kind of a rough rough starting year. Not a lot of good games, not a lot of big games, and finally, we're starting to see first party stuff that actually takes advantage of the hardware. And Uncharted: Drake's Fortune is from Naughty Dog. They're the guys who made Crash Bandicoot, the Jack games. They've been working on this for three years. Imagine like Tomb Raider meets Lost meets Gears of War. You're, you're this like regular Joe uh, who gets sent to the Bermuda Triangle to try to find this treasure. And yeah, just kind of a very realistic take on, on Tomb Raider with amazing graphics. There's you, you're, uh, you know, you're shooting people, you're driving vehicles, you're exploring ruins. And when you see the visuals in this game, it's, it's probably the most breathtaking visuals you've ever seen ever. Cool. Yeah. Now for the 360. Well, this isn't only on 360. This is also coming to PS3, and it's also on PC. And, uh, you know, Half-Life 2, probably the highest-reviewed game of all time. You know, it's an amazing game. This collects Half-Life 2, the two additional episodes that came out, uh, Episode 1, Episode 2, along with Team Fortress 2, this amazing multiplayer shooter that's been 10 years in the making, and Portal, which is kind of a puzzly, funny take on Half-Life 2 gameplay. So all, all five games for one price, they're all amazing can't go wrong with this title. Now, did you play Half-Life on PC at all? You know, I played Half-Life 2, I tried playing on an Xbox One, but it wasn't a very good conversion. Anybody who tried that one, like the graphics weren't there, it just wasn't quite right. So a lot of console gamers never understood what the big deal about Half-Life 2 was. And finally, this is actually better than the PC version. They went back and like improved the visuals, so you know, this is the consummate version of Half-Life 2. And everyone who never got into it, they finally understand what the big deal is. Now, finally... We're going back to the PS2. What do you have for us there? Well, EA has been kind enough to port Rock Band, which you've probably heard about. It's coming to PS3 and uh, 360 as well. It's the guys who made Guitar Hero Harmonix. They left Activision. They went to make this game. And it's basically Guitar Hero with a drummer, a bassist, and a vocalist all playing at the same time, you and three friends, and it's phenomenal. I mean, as fun as Guitar Hero is by yourself, when you have three friends over and all rocking on the same song, it totally changes the experience, and you really can't go back to just playing like solo guitar hero. It's kind of it's very customizable, and and you know, you can download new songs for it. You can play over the internet. It's it's very like next gen, and the fact that they're even putting it on PS2 is kind of shocking because no one thought they'd be able to pull it off. So. Outstanding. But the price a little prohibitive on that one. What's the price on that? For the whole bundle, it's 170 bucks. Now you were mentioning before we yeah. started we we started talking that. 
individually, it could be really expensive. Well, yeah, right now you can only buy the bundle, but next year they're going to sell the pieces individually, and if you add up all the prices of, of the, you know, it's over, well over $200. So it's actually a steal to buy this early bundle for $169.99. Thanks, Shane. Much appreciated. Always a pleasure. There you go. There's your must-haves for this holiday season. And back to you guys. Thank you, Shane, and thank you, Scott. You were going to pick up Galaxy, huh? I for the Wii. I don't have a lot of games for the. I swear, I'm still doing bowling with my friends you know, all the time. And I've read somewhere that the number of after game sales for the Wii are relatively low compared to. I had to, to pick up consoles. the Godfather game though, just because you can strangle people with the nunchuck. It's just like there's something about that that's just satisfying. It's probably because you have <sighs> neighbors. Um, <laughs> I do. I'm going to pick nice up Mass neighbors. Effect for sixty bucks next week. Woo! That looks cool. I gotta it say. Does. And if I had a 360, the wireless guitar for Guitar Hero Three. I have two wired guitars for my PS2 that are real fun and all, but the course, wireless yeah. the wireless is nice, i got to say. That's really cool. I all right. All An right. orange box? Oh. I finally finished all the hard, the advanced levels on uh, Portal. That's good. Portal is fun. That's Do you it. dream about it when you go to sleep? It's like I'm going through portals and stuff? No, my, my dreams are rather twisted. Yeah, I probably shouldn't go into <laughs> 